Okay, you join me here in a 1930s cast iron bed. Oh yeah! So we've got something serious to talk about here. AMS2 is dead. Stun silence. Stun silence. AMS2 is dead. There you go. There's a statement. Now before you all get out the long knives. Ugh, gosh, it's wet. It's very wet. Let me explain. Let me explain what I mean by that. And, it might, and I'll also explain what I'm doing in these. It'll all become clear as the road dries up. So, 1.56 AMS2. The continued road to improvements. So we got to a point where they've given us this huge update with huge improvements. Keep off the rubber rowing. More grip. In the raking area. So we've come to this point where they've made huge improvements. But to do that, they've had to redo the tyre physics and the chassis physics. Now we're not talking about fixing the chassis and the tyre physics or twiddling around the edges. They've gone to town here, they've rewritten it. So the stuff that was in AMS2 1.5, ah, it covered the inside and then braked, um, is gone. The changes are that big that uh, AMS2 is no longer the AMS2 you know and love. There's this kind of idea that 1.6 is the same but better. Well, to make it better, unfortunately, there was no way that they could keep it the same. Logic dictates. So, it is no longer the same but better. It is different but better. Okay? Different but better. Right, okay, so now we've got that out of the way. The elephant in the room. Let me get off the rubber. I can get on the power, come back across the rubber. It is a thing, people. Let me explain to you what I'm doing in the 1930s cast iron beds. And it's linked to the fact. there's been such fundamental changes okay so we've all put hundreds of hours in to AMS2 it's ingrained in our muscle memory our turning in angles our braking zones our throttle and brake responses the visual clues the audio cues and how we react to things is in our muscle memory we do it without thinking well all that's changed as i previously pointed out so that's a problem so what happens is is that you're no longer driving the car you're reacting to it because you'll do things with your muscle memory involuntarily and it will cause a problem with the car then you will have to react to fix that problem that's not good that's not good they'll give you a slight uneasiness feeling and think there's a problem there's not a problem it's just your subconscious trying to end you in the nearest tree so we are out here retraining our muscle memory on a damp track with 1930s flying cast iron beds because they give me a great amount of feedback. Turning late, get off that rubbery strip, it's still a bit damp. 
so they give me a great amount of feedback as to what the car is doing but he's not bamboozling my head with a thousand brake horsepower aero and traction control it is pretty much Toka old school Formula Ford it's seat of your pants very simple car four wheels a steering wheel and away we go the rest made out of said mentioned 1930s cast iron bed so that's what we're doing we're retraining our muscle memory to make life a little bit easier so we can get on with this different but better righty ho I think this is the last lap we're getting we're getting a feel for everything now it's a lot easier to get a feel for things in things like this so I would urge you go find a low power car that's not full of electronic wizardry get it on the track and put, put some laps in really explore the envelope of what you can do what the car does in response to that so odd lines, tight lines, fast lines, stupid sideways lines. <laughs> Get it ingrained in your soul, people. Ingrained in your soul. It's like buying a brand new game. Big that's a third, round the outside, holding it off the rubber. There we go. It's like getting a brand new game. You don't jump into the uh, fastest hypercar on a, on a go-kart track. Because it's going to end badly. And your experience is not going to be good. You're getting something a bit slow. And you're getting a track that you know. And you, you know you feel it out. How's the new game? How's the new physics? Blah, blah, blah. That's what you've got to do again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But you just have to. It will improve your uh, performance and your enjoyment I am currently on 100% and we have the uh, Rainmeister level of the AI set to 1 and I'm keeping my tyres a little bit cool on the wetter bits of track try not to clang my uh, bed frame with that one And I'm getting away with some uh, crazy manoeuvres, crazy manoeuvres. So, now that the shock's died off, uh, gosh, that's okay. We now know what the maximum slide is, because that was my maximum opposite lock. Couldn't go any further. Did it on purpose, honestly. I wasn't reacting. Uh, What's my tyres like? Ooh, bit bit warm. A, a bit ooh, bit warm. So yeah, I've got to say uh, I am enjoying this. This is like discovering a, 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 an old friend. It's like you know when you first got it, getting back into it getting a new game but it feels familiar oh oh yeah 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 oh that was that was interesting okay so I locked up let me explain what happened there I locked up safe entry thank you I locked up got off the brakes but the wheels could not hook up again and rotate again so I was actually locked up my foot off the brake because of the slow speed and the damn track which is interesting but there you go that was uh, that was the final lap and that's what happens on the final lap thanks for watching and um, yeah I hope you liked this 1930s uh, cast iron bed race no junior doctors were harmed and none of them ended up in the river it's a bit of an English joke that hey some of you get it some of you get it. it wasn't a very good joke so if you don't get it don't worry about it you don't miss much right okay moving swiftly on oh the wet weather 
I don't know if I mentioned it, that was just to give me even more feel for what the tyres were doing, damp circuit, yada yada yada. Okay, adios.